How to create a sign up form on MailChimp 2022. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you and I'm going to be portraying it to you how you can create your very own sign up form on MailChimp and it's going to be very simple and it's going to be very easy. I'm going to walk you through all of it and I'm going to show you how to create it, how to mess around with it, how to design it, optimize it according to yourself. I'm going to show you all the features you can play it around with and once I've done all of that I guarantee you that if you hear me out properly till the end of the video then you're gonna properly know how to create a sign up form on MailChimp so without further ado let's not mock about and let's get right into it so first of all you're gonna go to your MailChimp dashboard so once you're properly signed in, what you're going to do is you're going to come here to this left side of your dashboard and you're going to click on the contacts tab. Now, once you click on contacts down here, it says sign up forms. Now you're going to click on sign up forms. And obviously, once you click on that, what's going to happen is over here, it starts giving you an audience tab where it says you can either click on the form builder and this is the option that we're going to be using but you can also go on embedded forms where you can generate an html code to embed into your side blog or whatever you want to make a sign up of there you can create a subscriber pop-up a contact form or you can integrate different forms if you want to but obviously right now today we're going to be using the form builder which is a build design and translating sign up form creator so we're just going to select that now, once we've selected that, we're going to come down here and over here, obviously, again, they're going to say forms and response emails. You can choose any one of these like recapture confirmation, sign up form with alerts, etc. But today we're just going to be using sign up form. Now, let subscribers pick email format. Uh, if you don't know what this means, basically, it is when people sign up for your list, you can let them specify which email format they prefer to receive. If they choose plain text, then they won't receive your fancy HTML version. So you can tick and enable that if you want to. Uh, or you can just let it stay unticked. It's totally upon you. It This one doesn't really matter, to be very honest. Like it's for programmers, let's say, because obviously they're going to understand the hefty HTML language. A normal person can't really understand it. So now that once you're here, first of all, what you're going to need to do is here's your sign up URL. So first of all, we're going to go to a new tab, paste it and see how it actually looks right now. So I'm just going to wait for it to load and yeah here you can see this is basically how my sign up form looks so let's come back here and now this is where we're gonna start messing around so obviously it says this first of all you're obviously gonna remove or edit this now obviously to edit it you're gonna hover over it and you're gonna click on edit now once you click on edit you can uh, here we go and you can start messing around with the text so uh, you can write please sign up here and then you can select all the text you can make it bold you can make it italic make it underlined etc you can change the background color of the text let's say i want to keep it that there we go then you can mess around with the font let's say i want the georgia font i'm just going to select it you can make it georgia or any type of font if you want you can make it look much bigger and then once you've done all that, all you need to do is save and close. And once you save and close, we're going to go here. And if we recycle our page, look at that. Please sign up here. Obviously, it doesn't look very appealing or pleasing, but this was just to show you that you can do this very easily. This is open to customization. Then up here, you can add a message. Now, obviously, this message is for... Uh, guiding or informing the user that's using your sign up form like please enter correct and accurate details so you know just a friendly reminder that they need to put in the correct information etc so let's go back here again and we're going to do that and look at that please enter correct and accurate details so that's going to be a small informative uh, dialogue up there for the people who are signing up so now then you can come here and obviously uh, let's say if you click on the email address tab so up here you had to click on edit but down here you can just click on the tab and on the right hand side you can see that these fields and their editing views start opening 
So you can label this field. Let's say you don't want it to be an email field. You can uh, uh, change it to any other, or you can just name it, or you can write enter email, whatever you want. It's totally up on you. And then obviously you can change the field visibility. You can also put in a help text. Let's say uh, on some websites you must have seen they give a format of how the emails are supposed to look like. So you can put this in like someone at example.com. Now if I save field, and I'm gonna wait for it to be saved properly. Once it's saved, I'm gonna re reload the page and look at that. And look at that, someone at example.com. It's, it's a friendly help text that's gonna be displayed under the enter mail. Now again, we're gonna come back here. You can mess around with the first name, the last name, etc., whatever you like. So let's go on the first name. Now again, once you go on first name, you can change the visibility. You can make it hidden. You can make it visible. Now it can, uh, because obviously, as we know, some people are uh, a bit skeptical on giving their uh, personal information. So if you want it to be an optional field, you can go to required field and you can untick it. So basically what that does is it makes this field optional and the person doesn't really have to enter it. You can put that down there and then you can save field. Now once you do that, now I also need to teach you, for example, you don't want the last name field to be in your sign up form. So all you need to do is you can either click on this minus or you can come down here and click on delete. So you just have to type delete to confirm and then you just delete and look at that i'm just gonna save it and once we go here we reload our page and look at that and the tab is gone and under the first name you can see that it's an optional field we don't really need to enter it but obviously if you want to make it a field that someone needs to enter then you can put in uh the let's say the required field tech now obviously uh this all of these work the same way i just worked with enter mail and first name you can also add different fields like you can add different check boxes for example if i click on checkbox what it's going to do is it's going to add a checkbox down here which is going to give different categories and if you click on it come up here and obviously you can give the options yes and you can give the option no and then if you save the field we go here i'm going to reload the page and look at that you can either choose yes or you can choose no so yeah that's how basic and easy it is and just like that you can add different fields like you can add dates birthdays addresses already added zip codes website images etc you can add all of that and after all adding all of that all you need to do is save it and this is the link this will be your proper published uh, sign up form that you're going to create using mailchimp so yeah that's about it and that is how easy it is to create a sign up form using mailchimp i hope you find this video helpful and i will see you all next time goodbye